This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe, and let's get right into the news. All right, so Chief Keef's baby mom keeps the pressure on Chief Keef. She puts up another statement saying, tell the world how you got him pregnant. You know, bad baby. While she was a teenager. Or she says, bad, tell him how Keef got you pregnant while you was a teenager. Dude, I, I don't know why this baby mom is so upset. <laughs> like, she's... This is the Slim Danger. Girl. She smashed all the rappers just to get back at Keefe. She's obsessed with getting back at Chief Keefe. What's Chief Keefe's age? Chief Keefe's age, he's uh, 27. He's only 27. He got on early. This guy got on really early. It's been uh, 13 years since he... No, no, 12 years since he, like, hit the scene or 11 years. He was young as Christ. And then, what's he? What's Bob? Bod Baby. Bod Bobby H. <laughs> what's her age? Uh, you never know her age. She keeps making it. Now she's, it says she's 20 here. No way. I'm sorry. Um, I would say, because, like, I think she changed her, na her age because she was, like, 17 for, like, three years. Remember that? <laughs> you know, it's, it's like, so I think that um, she's more like 22 or 23 because she was on Dr. Phil in 2016. And four years, four, five, six, seven years. I think she was like 15 when that came out. I don't care what they say. I think she was around 14 or 15. So that makes her around like 22, 23, you know? So still there's an age gap and he could if he messed with her then he would have been i don't know who knows i mean it's like i didn't even know they were a couple to be honest with you i thought she just like was obsessed with xx tentacion and nba young boy um there was that dinner they have at the white house and uh, i guess 50 cents bmf was mentioned um, and 50 Cent reacts to that. Uh, that that was a... These dinners are always so weird. I don't care who's in office. It's like it's like a comedy night for the president. It's like, <laughs> dude, just run the country. We don't have to be entertained, okay? <laughs> Please, stop. <laughs> but uh, let's see. Here's the article. I have it right here. Okay, so what was mentioned he said he continued tucker got caught up he got caught up like that dude from vanderpump rules text matches stuff i don't know what vanderpump rules is about i only watched it a couple times my friends tell me it's like bmf but for white people or that succession no succession is power but for white people no tucker carlson is power for white people oh uh, yeah okay this guy well what's his name roy wood jr Dude, is this the best they could do at the White House? This guy is not funny, bro. I, I can't tell you one thing this guy was in that I was like, oh, yeah, he was funny in that. You couldn't get Chris Rock or anybody? Come on, man. This is yeah, They went to the D-list. They went to the D-list to get things. They're like, all right, well, this is all we can get. Rick Ross is having trouble with his neighbors for his car show. Look at Rick. Yo, Rick Ross has attack dogs on his property. So the, the news was filming this. That's one of his attack dogs just looking from the gate like, I dare you to come over this fence. But he has the Promised Land car and bike show. And Little Wayne's supposed to perform this year. And it looks great. Look at what his yacht. Look, he turns his whole property into like a car and bike show. Um... And he competes with DJ, you know, DJ Envy makes a lot of money off car shows and stuff. So uh, they compete and it's a big event, but the neighbors can't like it shuts the roads down. So the neighbors can't get out of their houses or their subdivisions. So they're protesting. I don't blame them. <laughs> this would be a nuisance. Think the picture where you live and you can't leave for an hour because there's so much traffic because Rick Ross wants to it doesn't benefit you in any way to have a, a, a bike show on your on your street you know uh, Rick Ross is funny I think I think the only way to fix that would be to have people park in a certain area and then 
get a bus to drop them off and pick them up, have buses going back and forth. If he did that, he would probably fix the problem. You can't have people just driving into the show. But you know what? People would just drive by just knowing Wayne and Ross are having a big event. So I don't think there's any way around it. Ain't no way around it. <laughs> um. Anyways, and then like Bad Baby's like making it hotter by talking about removing her Chief Keef tattoos and all that stuff. We talked about that last week. It's like, ugh. who cares? I'm just like, it's in the past. This is Jordan Taylor with JT News. Um, I appreciate you all.